I have lived and worked in over 50 countries in my lifetime throughout my career. And I was thinking about the first opportunity I had to go overseas was when I was 21 and I was working for Citibank in New York City and they offered me a job in Cairo, Egypt. So I went over to Cairo and I was absolutely miserable. First of all, it was 120 degrees when I got there. I've never seen heat like that. I lost something like 15 pounds in the first two months, so that by the time my shipment arrived, my clothes didn't fit me anymore. The employees were looking at me, taking bets, thinking, Miss Linda's not looking well. We don't think she's gonna last here. I used to go home at the end of the day, 10 o'clock at night, cry myself to sleep. Somewhere along the way, about three months in, I turned a corner and I decided, I remembered what I said when I took the assignment. I said, no matter what happens, I'm going to learn something. Um, so when I turned that corner, one of the things that I found was that I looked Egyptian, so that was the reason that they picked me for the job, and that gave me an affinity with the people. And so once I decided to use my identity, um, looking the way I did, um, to be part of my experience, then things changed for me. I started learning Arabic, much to my surprise. And it changed my whole life from that moment forward. I used it as an opportunity to really learn about different people and how to connect with people on a personal level. And it was a turning point for me in my life and my career. So now I look back and I think, you know, what did I learn from that? When I told my father that I was crazy enough to take the job because I was going to learn something. And I learned a lot. And it has brought me to where I am today.